your outlet. Okay? Pretty common in the U.S. It's 120 volt. I think it's a 60 hertz, something like that. Basically, it's the frequency of the AC waveform. Now, your common U.S. outlet, it's got a cold, which is the return. Your hot, which is the supply, essentially. That's the direction of the current movement. And then we've got an earth ground. That'll come important later on. Now, let's say we've got a happy little plug here, and he's eyeing that outlet. Not that big of a deal until somebody comes along and says, hey, what happens if I take RJ45 jack, or Cat5, Cat6, whatever you want to call it, and let's connect some of those leads to the plug on both ends. You know, we connect the hot and the cold to some of the leads on the Cat5 cable. You say, well, what would happen if I plug this in? Now, contrary to popular belief, what most people would think, bad things would happen, but funny enough, actually, nothing should happen if connected in a certain way. And there's no crossover, meaning that at no point in time does your supply jump over to your return. That is what is called open or a break in uh, engineering terminology, if you will. Basically, what that's saying is we have an air gap between the two rails of our circuit. Now, the opposite, what we'd want to avoid in this situation, would be a short or a closed circuit. Essentially, there's a closed gap, meaning it's a direct connection. Very simply put, if Mr. Plug is plugged into the outlet and connected to a Cat5 cable, and it's done in a way where there is a break between the supply and the return, nothing will happen. Unless you decide to take said RJ45 plug and plug that into an RJ45 jack, which then runs back to a switch, and you're going to have some magic smoke. Now, the reason why is because that switch is designed to run at about 1.2 to 5 volt DC and suddenly you've now injected 120 volt AC into a RJ45 port on the switch via the Cat5 cable. So either one of two things is going to happen. Probably all the capacitors or the inline caps that are sitting right inside that jack are going to just explode in magic smoke or it'll dead short. This little Cat5 cable in the wall is going to heat up like a filament in a light bulb and you're going to have some really exciting wall art there. In general, this is actually not as big of a danger as you might think because most of the time what would actually happen if we did indeed have a short in the way this was connected the moment that this plug hit that outlet it will trip a breaker back in the circuit panel it won't destroy any of the wiring in the wall and if any damage is going to happen most likely it'll occur right here or somewhere in the smaller gauge wire of the cat 5 which will heat up really really hot glow red for a second until it burns itself stopping the short and creating an open breaking the connection and everything will so hopefully you learned something and hopefully that clarifies a little bit so again thank you all for watching see you guys next time